குட் மார்னிங் டு எவ்ரிபடி நமஸ்கார் சத் ஸ்ரீகால் வணக்கம் அஸ்லாம் வலைக்கும் மெசேஜ் to our students and staff including the management of the Manor College of Law on the occasion of the 74th Independence Day. So before I could start my speech or presentation, I would like to play first the national anthem in this regard. So let me stand it and, uh, and play the national anthem now. Yes. I would like to share this one, the national anthem, yes, yeah, let us stand and Yes, let us resume today's message and I am sure that uh, it could be here to you. Yes. Yes, this is my message. The, uh, the first and foremost that I shared on the screen, I believe that you can see my photo also in this one. Uh, but uh, let me see that whether you are seeing. whether you could see my photo or not uh, let me check uh, by using the different mode of it yeah yes this is the way that i would like to share with my screen to you so that you could see that what i am speaking and the video whether video is on start my video i don't think that video is on now so now the video is on yeah you could see me you could see me also rather than yeah earlier that i did not start the video but now i started the video because at the time i did not notice it now i noticed it while as uh, making my thing yes now that message which i would like to give that is uh, to the students and staff as well as the uh, management of the akhil bharat that is the uh, manner college of law khamam uh, at the garden Uh, that is the uh, the slide which i make it on the screen is the quest for the equality and justice is the ma- mantra of our republic uh, that is said by mahatma gandhi there is a 2020 74 th independence day and uh, which i made it today then i will make my message in the goes in this way the independence day of india is celebrated religiously throughout the country every year irrespective of the caste creed 
sex and uh, religion. In India, uh, Independence Day is celebrated on the August 15th annually to pay the tributes to the leaders who fought for India's freedom in the past. Uh, this year, India will uh, celebrate its 74th independence amidst the ongoing coronavirus pandemic uh, in the country. The national flag of India is, uh, as you know, the symbol of the country's sovereign state and its history and culture. Everybody knows, but still, I am reminding you uh, with this uh, uh, the message. The, the flag is a horizontal rectangular tri uh, tricolor of India saffron, white, and India green with the Ashoka Chakra. Uh, with the 24 uh, spokes wheel in uh, uh, in a color uh, navy blue as its center and here you can see that uh, who has developed the the flag uh, that is uh, pingali venkaya and he's from vijayawada uh, that is the earlier name of vijayawada of the uh, earliest uh, state of andhra pradesh uh, and from there the tricolor flag uh, was altered to become the flag of independence india saffron on the top symbolizes the strength and courage white in the middle pres uh, presents uh, peace and truth and green at the bottom stands for the fertility growth and auspicious of the land the ashoka chakra with the 24 spokes uh, replaced the spinning uh, well as the emblem on the flag it is intended to show that there is a life in movement and death in stagnation i repeat the emblem which is there on the flag of the spinning wheel of the Ashoka instead of spinning wheel of the Ashoka Chakra is put it over there and that shows that there is a life in movement and death in stagnation. Why do you celebrate Independence Day? That is a question that we will, everybody would ask. Even our children all sometimes ask or the grandchildren may also ask. At that instance, we don't have any other answer, but at least we should know that why do you celebrate the Independence Day? Yes, Independence Day in India, and that is a national holiday uh, celebrated annually and going uh, on August 15th every year. Independence Day marks the end of the British rule in uh, 1947 and the establishment of a free and independent Indian nation it also marks the anniversary of the partition of the subcontinent into two countries that is uh, india and pakistan and uh, independence day is uh, and was celebrated on the saturday of course uh, celebrated on saturday this year august 15 2020 in india uh, this day is celebrated to start the remember the sacrifice and courage of the people who granted us this independence and by virtue of the whom we are a democratic and free country now in most uh, aspects. It also stands as a solidarity event uh, between the different uh, people in all walks of life residing in the vast country of uh, India. Uh, India gained uh, its independence on the August 15, 1947 after being the under British Raj. Several freedom fighters fought uh, to free the country from the British rule while celebrating the big day, big day, let's remember millions of the, our freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives of our independence. Here are the, some of the great freedom fighters in India whose courage and patriotism continues to inspire us to work for a prosperous and even stronger uh, of nations. And you could see on the screen now that uh, Mangal Pandey is the first person who was uh, uh, hanged to death by the Britishers, if I cannot be mistaken. Yes, he is the Mangal Pandey, the early martyr of the 1857 rebellion, and he was a soldier of the British India Army, but rebelled against his commanders. Uh, he was executed on 8th April 1857 in uh, Barakpur. Of course, there are several peoples are there who sacrificed their life, and uh, here I mentioned a few of them. And at the last that I made, the Mahatma Gandhi, because uh, I would like to do the first and foremost those who are there, uh, in the sacrifice of the for Indian struggle movement. The father of the nations, uh, of course, Mahatma Gandhi, and whose uh, slogan I put it in the early in the in my slide, which I before I am starting this message. Now on the screen that you could see the Bhagat Singh, and when you see the Bhagat Singh, naturally we know the other two members also that we will discuss it now. Yes, Bhagat Singh, an Indian socialist revolution known for his acts of dramatic violence against the uh, British. He was executed at the age of uh, 23, which made him a folk uh, hero of the Indian independence movement. 
Let us see the other three members, uh, including the Bhagat Singh. On 23rd March, the country and its citizens pay homage to the martyrs Sardar Bhagat Singh, Sukadev and Rajguru, who was made the supreme sacrifice of India to attain freedom. The entire nation honors their sacrifice to help the gain freedom from the clutches of the British. Let us recall the commitment and contribution of our uh, revered freedom fighters, uh, known how they played their role in striving for India's independence. Um, like we see the Bhagat Singh, as we just we know it, uh, then we will see the, what the Sukadev would be did it. And uh, Sukadev was born on the May 15, 1907 in the state of Punjab as with the Bhagat Singh. Sukadev was also a member of the Hindustan Socialistic Republic Association in uh, acronym we will say HSRA. He also founded the now Jawan Bharat Sabha which helped the youth to participate in the freedom uh, struggle. Then the last night of the list, the Rajguru, and his name is Shivaram Hari Rajguru, was a revolutionary from the Pune, Maharashtra. He was born on the August 4, 1908. He eventually settled in Punjab and became a member of the Hindustan Socialistic Republic Association, HSRA, where he met Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev and found that they shared the common goal for freeing the India from its colonial masters. Then we will come the another legend, we can say the Rani Lakshmi Bai, and this, uh, the ruler of the Jhansi was one of the leading figure of the Indian rebellion um, of 1857 and became a symbol of the resistance to British Raj for the Indian nationals. Again, I will show the, the photo, of course, it's in black and white photo of uh, Rani Lakshmi Bai you could see on the screen. And that, that later we will go to that our uh, drafting committee chairman, that is uh, nothing but uh, the Bhim Rao Ambedkar. That is in another name, we will say Baba Sahab Ambedkar, other we can say also say the Dr. Ambedkar also. And he was the independent India's first minister uh, of law, of justice, and the chief architect of Indian constitution. And Dr. Ambedkar also campaigned against issues like the social discrimination towards the untouchables. Dalit say he fought for his entire life and also supported the social rights of women. Next, we will come to the legend, then we will say the. Uh, the Sardar Patel, that is the Sardar Vallabhai Patel, and whose photo that you could see on the screen. And he was an Indian barrister and played a leading role on the country's struggle for the independence, popularly known as the Sardar Patel. He also served as the first deputy prime minister of India. He was involved in the non-violent civil disobedience and quit India movement. Later, you can see the on the screen, and there is a Chandrasekhar Azad. Uh, that uh, Azad was an Indian revolutionary who recognized the Hindustan Republic Association in acronym we will say HRA and it's a new name of Hindustan Socialistic Republic Army HSRA when he was arrested for the participation in the non-cooperation movement and when produced before the judge he mentioned his name as Azad. Azad, within parentheses we will say free, F-R-E-E, free. His father's name as uh, Sotantra, independence and jail, jail. J.I.L. Jail has residence. Then we can see the another uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. Uh, the, you may see uh, the Subhash Chandra Bose on the screen now which I shared it uh, and founded the Indian Legion and revamped the Indian National Army. Bose is uh, known for his role in India's independence uh, movement. He was a participant of non-cooperation movement and a leader of the Indian National Congress. He worked with the Jawaharlal Nehru for independence. Next, we can see that uh, the Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, that is the uh, founding father of the nation and an independence activist, and uh, subsequently the first Prime Minister Nehru was a central figure in the Indian politics before and after independence. As I said earlier, Mahatma Gandhi, who is the father of the nations, I said I will make it a last. Generally, then the speeches also the chief uh, uh, patron or the chief guest would be the last in the same manner. I also did the same thing. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi and uh, whose full name is Mohan, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, who is the father of the nation, was the, uh, the, the preeminent leader of the Indian independence movement in British rule in India. Employing the non-violent civil uh, disobedience, Gandhi led India to independence and inspired the movement of civil rights, of freedom across the world, and he has achieved the independence through the non-violence uh, parameters or measures or weapon. Uh, let us explain the Independence Day and Republic Day difference. Uh, with this, uh, I would like to say that uh, people, many people who doesn't know the, what is the difference between the Independence Day and Republic Day. I'm sure that uh, now the, for the, those people, those who did not know it, uh, for them it is a new thing for them 
and those who knew it for them it is a reminder number one difference that uh, between the independence day and republic day goes in this way number one on independence day the national flag is tied up uh, tied and it sits uh, at the bottom the prime minister then rises uh, rises it uh, rises r a i s e s rises it up and unfold u uh, n f u r yes i repeat u n f u r l s unfolds it the moti is to honor the historical event of the august 15th 1947 whereas on republic day the flag remains closed and tied up on the top which is then unfolded without pulling it up i repeat whereas on republic day the flag remains closed and tied up on the top which is then unfolded without pulling it up this is to mark that the country is already independent the second difference between the independence day and republic day goes like this the second difference is the prime minister hoist that is what we did this time because of the coronavirus that covid 19 we made the web hoisting that the flag hoisting ceremony in our manner college of law on 15th august 2020 the flag on independence day as the head of the government on republic day that is the january 26th the president attends the event as the first citizen of the country the president unfold the flag that is we will say uh, if it is the 26th january we will say if it is on non uh, online then we can say web unfolds the spelling is w b u n f u r l s that is a coinage that we made it here and like the earlier we used to used to say the seminars now we are saying the webinars earlier we used to say the bibliography now you are saying the bibliography because of the coronavirus uh, that is a covid 19 pandemic uh, the nomenclature also changed over there and a new nomenclature was made it over there like, like the web hosting flag web hosting and flag a uh, web unfolds uh, if it is 26 uh, january most probably yes now the third difference which goes like the the third difference in that uh, of the location the independence day is celebrated at the flag hoisting uh, takes place at the red fort in the new delhi uh, the prime minister addresses the nation from the ramparts uh, of the red fort i use the word ramparts r a m p a r t s that means a defensive wall of a castle or walled city having a broad top with a walkway and typically a stone parapet that is called ramparts so the prime minister addresses the nation from the ramparts of the red fort while the republic day is celebrated the rajpath uh, in delhi the rajpath uh, i believe that everybody knows that uh, the rajpath is the national boulevard of india it is the new delhi uh, the capital of india the boulevard starts at the home uh, home of the president of india and ends at the national stadium that is called rajpath in a new delhi then the president unfold un if you are ls unfolds the flag at the rajpath uh, utterly displays uh, three forces march uh, and tablets of the different states are taken out of the republic day parade at the rajpath which becomes the center of attraction for the day uh, that is uh, said about the difference uh, between the uh, independence day and republic day uh, which i made it very much clear to you and uh, we are assembled uh, joined uh, online because of the college uh, that is the manner college of law khammam which is established in the year 1990 that manner college is affiliated to kakati university permitted by the government of the andhra pradesh now the state of telangana and approved by the bar council of india so i am thankful to all the members of the manner education society and especially thanks to our secretary sir uh, shri yunis sultan sir on who is the founder of the mes that is the manner education society as well as the manner college of law and i also thank to all the staff students both llb and rlm and who gave this slot to convey this message on a of on the a of the 74th independence day celebrations that is the flag web hosting ceremony on cisco wix platform with this short message i would like to uh, sing and play a national uh, anthem and stop my today message to the staff and students uh, including the management manner college of law and khammam uh, that uh, now i will stand it and uh, share it uh, the uh, uh, national anthem that we will sing it now uh yes i am going to share it to this national anthems uh, um yes we will also sing it by standing uh, uh by standing yes
ಸಿಂಧು ಗುಜರಾಟ ಮರಾಠ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ಉತ್ತಲ stop my today's session and uh, let me say goodbye to everybody have a good day and uh, 